Hi, I'm Mike Adam, Senior Biologist with the Lake County Health Department. As the warmer weather approaches, spring, early summer, great time to be outdoors. The Lake County Health Department is urging residents to also be aware of ticks because this is the time of year when they are the most active. Now, ticks can carry a lot of different diseases, such as Lyme disease. The deer tick, which transmits Lyme disease, is becoming more common in the area, and we've seen a number of human cases also go up. Deer ticks, also known as black-legged ticks, are very, very small. They're only about an eighth of an inch big. They're reddish brown. They also like this type of habitat in woods with a lot of leaves on the ground. In today's segment, I want to talk about how to properly remove a tick. Now you may have heard different ways of removing a tick, such as burning it off with a match or a lighter, using petroleum jelly or some kind of oil to get it off, and we strongly discourage you from doing that. While the ticks will back out of you, what happens is they will actually spit up or regurgitate some of their saliva into you while they are backing out, which could infect you if they're carrying some kind of a disease. So the best thing to do is to use a tweezers. Any kind of tweezers will do, but very uh, fine tip tweezers are the best. And what you do is you just kind of get down to where the tick is, very, very close to the skin, and pull it straight up. Don't try to twist it or pull it very, jerk it up, but do a very steady and, and with easy pressure, pull it up. Once the tick is released, make sure you disinfect the bite site, but watch the site. If it starts to turn red or a bullseye kind of rash is around it, contact your physician. Some of the other symptoms will be uh, uh, fatigue, uh, headache, a body achiness. For the tick to transmit a Lyme disease, it has to be attached for at least 36 hours. So if it's just crawling on you, it's not going to transmit, but if it, it's been attached for a while, please contact your physician. Also, you can find more information about how to avoid ticks on our website at fightthebitenow.com or just go to the Lake County Health Department website. Thank you.